Auto Line at CES is brought to you by ETAS, Gentex, Intrepid Control Systems, Magna, and by Yazaki Innovations. Oscar Tahumcho is with AWS, Amazon Web Services. We are in the ETOS booth, however, at CTS. What are we here for, Oscar? Why, why uh, AWS within this ETOS booth? Well, we have a great collaboration going on with ETAS, and then we had two demos throughout this um, event during CES 2024. You're going to see one of them here, and then another one in our booth, actually, in the AWS booth. ETAS has been a great partner for us. Uh, when we started our journey a couple of years ago with automotive, we started with like future, faster together vision. We believe in a software-defined future for the automotive industry. And ETAS has been a great partner for that. They have a long-term vision just like we do. They believe in software. And then uh, we're partnering together. I mean, they're doing, uh, they know the automotive industry. We are bringing our cloud infrastructure, cloud services, uh, Gen AI services together with them. And then we're building uh, software for the automotive industry to accelerate software development. So uh, ETAS, of course, uh, writes software. They enable automakers and uh, the tier suppliers to collaborate in that. And then what? They, they've got to upload it to your cloud at that point, right? Exactly. So one of the things uh, maybe I can show here. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe I can show here. One of the things that we're doing uh, is a continuous uh, development workbench uh, with ETAS. And around that, um, it's a cloud-based software development coding. Cloud-based, now I touched it, of course, just to spoil it. Uh, Cloud-based testing, simulation, and then documentation. So what it does is, I mean, a lot of these companies, OEMs and software developments, are distributed organizations around the globe. So anywhere, any developer can actually log into the same cloud-based uh, development environment and can contribute to the software. Uh, any errors or bugs you detect would be, uh, like you could be developing in India and somebody could be testing it in Germany the next day. Uh, and then the other thing that's super helpful is because it's cloud-based, as the tools evolve, Everybody, all developers coming in the morning would have access to the latest set of tools. So it's very dynamic. And what it does is actually cuts the development time uh, from, like, if you think about it in the auto industry, it was like three, five, seven years. Uh, to do a full stack. Exactly. And now it's coming down to like two to three years, even less. So it's, uh, it's amazing uh, progress we're seeing just because of this. It, because you're putting it all in the cloud and you can do all your testing and everything there, you catch mistakes before exactly. they go farther down the program. Exactly. And then the other thing is we are able to decouple the software from the uh, hardware that allows you to develop software that is not necessarily hardware dependent. In the past, what we have seen is uh, we had to wait for a certain spec so uh, hardware to be available. Right now, you could actually simulate that. Uh, hardware, just in the uh, like form of a virtual ECU, if you will, and then assume how the ECU will react and develop your software on it. And this is these are the types of things we are uh, doing with ETAS right now. And so the time savings that's incredible to go from up to seven years down to what would you say three years or I, something? I mean, even less. Even less. Depending on what you're developing. Where where does the time savings come from? Uh, I think it's developer efficiency. The new um, I guess the new mantra in the industry is around uh, creating developer experience. We talk about, like, if you think about it, there's the vehicle journey and there's the customer journey in the, uh, in the auto industry right now. In the vehicle journey, what really matters is the developer experience. In the customer journey, what matters is the customer experience. What we want is equip the developers with the latest tools, make them a lot more efficient and bring them a lot more productivity basically. Now Oscar, my understanding is this is how the software industry has been doing it all along. Yeah, now you got to drag automotive kicking and screaming into the new world, right? Well, I mean, I think the big issue, uh, the big challenge that we had seen in the automotive industry uh, over the last years was the dependency on hardware. I think the separation through STV, software defined vehicle, through decoupling software from hardware that has actually triggered uh, being able to develop software on its own. Then doing it cloud-based, running on AWS, like ETAS is doing right now, of course, it, it adds at a different level of uh, efficiency and productivity. And you know, the, the old automotive way, which was so you know mechanical, you know, the engine people would do their thing, the chassis people would do their thing, yeah. and so on and so forth. And then they bring it all together and find mistakes. 
if if I'm understanding you right, by going to a software-defined vehicle, putting it all in the cloud, you're putting everything together. You're knowing Absolutely. how it works from a total system standpoint. Absolutely, I think this is a this is a great point, uh, John. And one of the things we're saying is the engineering teams were just like you described, were sitting in silos, and now they can actually collaborate on a single software stack running on much uh, less number of ECUs. The other additional benefit you're going to see going forward is not just the engineering teams not working in silos, but also uh, working with the connected car uh, services teams or the virtual showroom teams. So autom automakers will see more and more of this horizontal integration across their services. This is fascinating to me because you're not only changing how to develop a car, you're not only changing how automakers and suppliers can collaborate, you're changing how their organizational structure, you're changing their organizational structure. We're changing how they work, I would say. Yeah. We're changing how they work. And I think automakers are also understanding that the way to extract customer value is to work across their own um, uh, organizations horizontally. If you think about it, it's one of the most complicated industries when it comes to supply chain, manufacturing, uh, consumer experience. So being able to work across all these different departments with data uh, being the connecting tissue is what is making this change happen. Fascinating, fascinating. Oscar, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here.